So I asked you guys on Twitter just now, uh, I wanted topics to talk about because that's what I love doing is talking to you guys. And you guys delivered. The first subject to talk about that I was given was toenails. Let's talk about toenails. So when we talk about toenails, the only the first thing that comes to mind was when I was growing up with my parents, because I'm done growing up with my parents, although I still live with my parents. We'd watch to be together specifically telenovelas, telenovelas, which are Spanish soap operas, soap operas, soap operas, that have an expiration date, unlike American soap operas. Those things just keep going. Seriously, the young and the restless, they're not young anymore, and the only thing they're restless about is their 401k, because those bitches are old, okay? <sighs> Anyways, we would watch these soap operas, these telenovelas, and there'd be these, these uh, infomercials for <laughs> bunions and ingrown toenails and fungi, and they'd show the most disgusting imagery ever. In fact, let me see if I can find some for you. This is this is an example. Y el agrietada, cuidado, la infección de los hongos es muy peligrosa. Póngale fin con hongo trin. So imagine yourself sitting there eating a taco because that's what we did or a tamale whatever and suddenly there was these disgusting <laughs> toenails being shown to you on television long story short i have now developed a problem with feet i can't stand looking at feet not even my feet i i put on socks for a reason not because they're comfortable but because i don't like looking at my feet now, i don't have ugly feet but i just i prefer not to, now you're thinking about my feet stop thinking about my feet stop it so, toenails. Gross. Thanks for that, Matthew, Mr. Gatos. Next topic. Poop and earrings. Earrings! I actually used to have earrings, which most of you won't know about. I had a rebellious phase where I had, I had the emo streak here. Actually, let me post that picture. My emo streak. Bam. Isn't that, isn't that gentleman just hot? And then I also had uh, earrings. I actually got one earring when I was 18 years old, on my right side, I wore a, a very thick skull for a while, and I was bad ass. And on the left side, I just, later on, I think it was two years afterwards, I got two more piercings. Um, I also had a piercing on my eyebrow, which at first was really cool, and I was like, this is awesome, I got a brow piercing, I'm the best. But that then later it became a problem, because it started rejecting, and because it was rejecting, it started to dangle just a bit. I'd be like, hey guys, and it'd be like, hello. <laughs> one night, and this is, this is, ugh, this is gross. So warning, warning. One morning, actually, I woke up and I used to sleep with a loose-knit uh, sheet uh, because it was wool and it was warm. But when I woke up, the sheet was, the sheet was on my face. So I just smacked the sheet off my face and I threw it off. Unbeknownst to me, my eyebrow piercing was stuck in one of the loose knits of the sheet. And when I hit the sheet off my face, out went my eyebrow piercing, ripping a little piece of me with it. Thank you guys. I don't think you guys can tell. No, it's kind of grown back in. Anyways, for a while there, there was just a slight gap on my face. Shut up. Stop talking about orifices. So yeah, that sucked. Uh, poop. I like to poop. Poop is nice. I think the best time one can have is, is when they're pooping. I think that's the most relaxed you have to be when you're actually defecating. Human defecation is the most relaxed thing that humans can do because if you're a little uptight, you know, nothing's gonna come out. So you have to be a little loosey-goosey and the toosy. Thank you for your topics, guys. That's exactly the hard-hitting reporting that I want to be doing on The Missing Signal. Thumb it if you like it. Fuck you if you don't. I will um, see you guys next time.